Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're out here at the Mansfield Toy Show here at the Richland County Fairgrounds. We're going to walk around and show you guys what all we can find. All right, everyone. Let's get things started off here at my table. So uh, I rocked out two tables at this show. Had my dig bins, my cases, my card figures. You know, the usual mix and matching of what I bring. Um, I always try to bring a variety, and I felt like I did a pretty good job at this show. Uh, I had a bunch of G.I. Joes, Star Wars. I had three dig bins of turtles. I had four dig bins of Star Wars. I had my display cases, my video games. This, that, and the other thing, guys. This show, we are really bringing it all out full force. So here's a figure I just want to take a quick second highlight guys, uh, that figure right there is from Italy. So in Italy there's a very high uh, plastic import tax, so uh, Playmix doesn't actually make that figure, a different company does, and I just thought it would be pretty cool to share that with you. So now you've seen my booth guys, let's jump straight into the show. The Mansfield Toy Show was held at the Richland County Fairgrounds in Mansfield, Ohio on Sunday, November 3rd. The Mansfield Toy Show has been going on for quite some time now and each and every year it gets better and better. Uh, this happens twice a year, once in November and once in February. The February show is typically the bigger show guys, but let me tell you, uh, being at this November show, it went really well. Tons of people came through. It was great getting to meet and talk to a whole group of different people. Uh, I love this show. It's close to my home and it is continuing to grow and get better each and every one. You gotta love you some box bench of Star Wars. So I gotta highlight the Jabba the Hutt playset right there guys. Really cool set, really cool figures and I love the box art. Here are some cool pieces that I thought I'd share with you guys too. Uh, some beautiful vintage Voltrons. So here were some very nice pieces too guys, uh, some nice AFA graded action figures. Uh, AFA is an action figure grading company if you don't know already. And what they'll do is they'll take your figure, case it up in some very nice acrylic so it displays super well and they'll assign a grade based on its overall condition and it's just really nice to preserve that figure's quality and um, you know depending on what your belief is, value for the time to come. Uh, this booth here I thought had a pretty nice setup. I love variety when it comes to booths, and this booth had it all. It had Godzilla to X-Men, Pokemon to video games. I really value a nice blended table. It, it just gives you something to look for, uh, no matter what you're looking for. And it's just kind of nice to have that ability to go, oh wow, that's kind of cool a piece. Because while you know you might be looking for one thing, you get to see some other really nice stuff too. So there was a lot of great die cast at this show too guys. I'm an action figure man myself, but I figure I'd still share you know, that with you because that might be something you're really into. I've noticed recently at a lot of the shows I've been going to, die cast really seems to be making a comeback uh, with multiple tables full of a lot of different things. So if that's something you're into, make sure you're hitting up your shows because die cast is really starting to have a presence again. There are still plenty of action figures though, so have no fear if that's your interest.
I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, please take a moment right now to go down in the comment section, leave a comment, smash that like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe. It really does make a difference to the channel. Here's another great setup at the show, guys. This booth had tons of great stuff. They had a great selection of Black Series figures, the whole retro collection, some other really nice vintage collection figures. If you're looking for Star Wars, they had quite a few. They also had a very nice variety of 12-inch G.I. Joe figures. So like I said guys, this show had a ton of die cast and with that came lots of Hot Wheels. Um, they had everything from carded Hot Wheels to loose Hot Wheels for every price range to the higher end uh, red lines all the way down to 50 cent Hot Wheel cars. So one thing about the Mansfield show, guys, is that it's a bit of a smaller show. It's not a big, massive show like Columbus or Cincinnati. And with that, you know, that smaller show, you're going to get some more of that hometown vibe. So a lot of these vendors, you know, aren't the ones that travel all over the state, all over the country, wheeling and dealing. It can be some of those hometown collectors looking to sell their extra stuff or things that just doesn't have a place in their collection anymore. So with that, you know, you're going to get some good conversation, find some very interesting pieces, and get some great deals. Another booth here worth taking the time to highlight was this one right here, guys. Has some great battle packs, box vehicles, play sets, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Master of the Universe, Predator, The Lord of the Rings. They had a little bit of everything and some great quality pieces too. I really love those Ewoks right there guys, the plush Ewoks from the vintage era. You know, they have that great balance of being, you know, really cute teddy bear type things, but also being pretty cool Ewoks. Guys, as you're watching the video, you're getting to see tons of cool different things. But I can't show absolutely everything when I'm out at these places. So leave a comment down below of what you collect and what you're looking for. Whether it be G.I. Joe to Star Wars, Marvel Legends, to, you know, maybe even Hot Wheels here. Maybe you want me to start focusing on that. Maybe you don't. Let me know down in the comment section so I can make this channel the absolute best for you. Here someone had a dollar table guys, how are you going to go wrong for a dollar? You get that great Muppets puzzle right there guys for only one whole dollar.
If you're in the horror guys, Chucky and his bride right there were some pretty nice pieces. Guys, if you're watching this video and wonder where the next show I'll be set up at and ready to go, it'll be February 2nd in Fairborn, Ohio, the Super Ohio Toy Show. Super Ohio Toy Show is going to be an absolute amazing show full of quality vendors from all over, bringing in great toys and collectibles for people like you. That's right, guys. That'll be February 2nd, Super Bowl Sunday in Fairborn, Ohio. I hope to see you all there. Sometimes at toy shows, you can find some pretty cool advertising pieces, and I thought that Mr. Peanut Head Peanut Bowl was pretty cool. Gotta love you some Jumbo Retro figures, guys, and those He-Man figures right there would make a great piece in any collection. This setup right here, guys, was my buddy Sean's. You've seen him in other videos. Um, he always brings a great selection of different things, some oddball things. This time around he had some cool Halloween pieces, some vintage Mad Balls, and the works. Right here was a pretty radical find. I love the TV trays guys with the classic cartoon characters on them and I still personally use and eat off of a Pac-Man one just like those two right there. For all you guys out there still hanging around, really appreciate your support. Please take a moment right now to go smash that like button and leave a comment right now. Really do appreciate it and it does make a difference for the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more great toy hunts to come. Have a great day and may the force be with you.